Right, Happy New Year everybody and thank you for joining The Average Golfer for another review of the TaylorMade product. It's another fairway wood, this time it is the M6 from TaylorMade. So this is the product that has uh, no adjustability. So it's uh, this is a three wood that we're gonna be reviewing today, 15 degrees worth of loft. Now then, a couple of things in terms of what's changed, what's new in the M6 fairway wood. Well, let's have a look at a bit of tech spec from TaylorMade. The biggest story, of course, this year in TaylorMade's product in terms of fairways and hybrids is the introduction of twist face technology for the first time. And to me, that's a real, a real message from TaylorMade that they firmly believe in this technology. They firmly believe it works so much so, like I said, they've introduced it into more of the products this time round. So that's a, a very positive message from last year uh, when it was introduced into the drivers. So it's introduced into the three wood. We've got, um, it's slight, It's a new head design, slightly deeper face. It looks slightly elongated, larger carbon crown, uh, which uh, from them claim provides optimal distance and excellent playability. Uh, a lot of mass, uh, as you would expect, is low in the head and as far back as possible uh, to maintain a high MOI. Um, speed pocket design, we've seen that before. It looks to my mind, and I've tried to stay away from the looks uh, debate on this one, this low sort of shallow looking dry, uh, three wood fairway wood looks to me as though it's gonna sit very nice behind a ball, but there's only one way to find that. I can't do that here. We've got to get out there on the fairways, but we're gonna start off in four golf Chester, get some dry ball data, but also get some first impressions of uh, what I think of this M6 fairway wood. So let's get over to four golf Chester and start hitting some golf balls. So tech spec done with, and if you've watched all the videos, you'll have seen also the M5 fairway wood. That'll have come out uh, previous. Quite a bit different in terms of how it looks on the shelf in, in terms of the bottom end of this club. So you're talking about shelf appeal really there because we don't really see that at address. Um, but yet quite a visible difference. In a lot of ways, I prefer the M6 from underneath the club. But like I said, that's maybe just that little bit irrelevant. We're gonna talk in this element like we have all, all the rest at address. Um, I mentioned on the other video that the slightly wider band on the fairways than there is onto the drivers. Carbon crown, I, I'm gonna get very repetitive. Absolutely love the carbon crown. This is a slightly elongated head. Um, you can see that sort of slightly more stretched out profile from the top line. Personally, I prefer the more compact look of the M5 three wood and again, you just see that little bit of loft. Um, I wish they'd have done what they did with the driver, which I mentioned on the driver videos, was these little white markings, circular white markings within the grooves that just highlighted exactly where the center of this golf club was. Don't get me wrong, we all know where it is, but any aid is always something that generally on the top line, but noticeable on the drivers just over there. That circular little uh, pattern was great for framing the golf ball. Anyway, enough of all that. I'll give you my first feedback on it and some golf balls with it. I mean, it has to be said, I think um, I'm swinging the ball, uh, swinging the club fairly well this morning because some of the performance I'm getting out of these, uh, in terms of straightness, first of all, let's forget about, I've, the whole point of this is not be swayed by dry ball data. So I'm not looking at numbers. I'm looking at what I'm seeing directly out there in the range. I've had a lot of balls that would find fairways this morning, both with the two drivers and now the two three woods. And that is an absolute peach. Now we know, we all know there are no magic ones. So I'm obviously, you know, I'm hitting the ball well this morning, but I've got to say, um, I really love the big thing I like about this, the M6, and it's noticeable over the M5 three wood for me, is the sound and feel. It's again, all the drivers and fairways that I've tried so far, have got a very much more of a muted sound than what I'm used to from the TaylorMade range. But there's this, this soft, this speed pocket and this dampener that's behind this club face or whatever it is that's making the difference. It's a very, very soft muted sound. And I love the feel that it gives back into the hands. I'm going to hit one more ball. To see if that was the case, because the one thing I was just about to say, and I've hit that last ball to, to confirm, again, 15 degrees, 15 degrees, and I'm pointing to the M5 three wood that I've reviewed just previously. Ball flight, 
totally different in terms of where they've placed the CG within the M6 obviously makes such a difference to launch angle because for me the balls that I'm hitting so far far steeper higher launch angle than I'm seeing from the M6 that's at least what I'm seeing will that be backed up by dry ball data well we'll see at the end of the video but enough waffle from in here at four golf Chester let's get out on the golf course with the M6 fairway wood and put it into a real test when I'm on the tee or on the middle of a fairway on a par five let's go and have a look that's not a sentence I say very often. In the middle of a fairway on a par five. Right, so before we finish up at uh, M6 Fairway Wood, what do I think of it? Immediate thoughts from off the uh, off the fairway, um, off the course rather. Really, again, the, the big thing for me in all of this is sound and feel. That's the one notable difference out there on the course, slightly different acoustics and in a, in a driving range, but once again, difference in terms of uh, the way it feels. I think for me, again, it's a slightly elongated club head. Um, I probably prefer the more compact version on the M5. That said, once again, very easy to get airborne. I said this on the M5 as well. Something I struggle with, and I know a lot of uh, average golfers will do, is picking the ball off a fairway, playing a three wood off the fairway, off a tight lie. And that's something this does really, really well. I don't know how it does it, but it gets the ball up and out there very, very quickly. Really impressive launch angle. And I was really confident in playing that shot from off the deck. That's the most impressive thing. And it's the same with the M5, to be fair. Very little to separate the two clubs, and this isn't a head-to-head, -head, but uh, I've literally just come off it in both of them. Um, but yeah, again, difficult to... Uh, they're, they're the two things I would pinpoint right now. So back into the warmth and let's do an overall summary on this club. Right, so we've done all the testing and I know you're having to sit through a lot of these, so I appreciate your patience and uh, maybe it's all getting a little bit too much for you. There are a lot of clubs being reviewed and a lot of people reviewing them at the moment. But I've done my bit and I'll tell you my thoughts and evaluation on the M6 three wood now. Um, performance wise, very, very good indeed. In both what I've seen in, uh, on dry ball data but more importantly perhaps what i've seen out there on the course uh, i took both this and the m5 threw it out on the same day and alternated kind of shots and played from similar lies uh, there's a slightly elongated uh, head on the m6 uh, which is only notable i suppose it, the, the more compact m5 was more suited to my eye um, but it's a marginal difference in terms of how this looks there's very little difference whatsoever from the bottom end. Once again, I prefer the look of the M6, to be quite honest with you. Um, but you don't really get to see that bit, so it's not massively relevant. Um, big thing that I was impressed with, and this is the repeated message from the M5, is the ability to take the ball off the fairway. That was the huge difference for me. I couldn't believe how well this picked the ball up off the turf and how high it launched the ball um, playing from a tight lie. And that was the bit that gave me huge confidence because it's something that I've struggled with for a good few years in finding the three wood that I'm comfortable to do that with. Um, and in the short period of time that I had it, uh, like I said, absolutely loved hitting the ball off the fairway. It was just absolutely just ripped it quite a few times, enjoyed that immensely. Um, sound again is very similar to the drivers. Again, it's a softer feel, but for me again, great performer this is a real good performer i think you'll be impressed with it i really do i think it's different from last year's models without doubt so anybody who's comparing uh, or looking at the difference between the two then i think there's a massive difference in both these three woods from last year's models i'll just throw you up because i've forgotten to do is i'll just throw you up some uh, data that i collected on this one as well so if you have a look you've got uh, 138 ball speed which is incredibly good um, ball speed off a of three wood for me 16 degree launch uh, one ball dropped that out considerably but you can see 17 degrees of launch so again quite high 
two eight spin really good spin number uh, again 37 peak height apart from that one ball um the first shot there at 30 made a huge difference to that 227 carry overall uh so again i said this it surprised me a little bit the dry ball dates to be quite honest with you because um both this m5 and m6 three wood were not as long as clubs that are uh, three woods that i've tested in the past and that's where it's a strange contradiction because when you get out there on a the course which is the real environment it seemed to be longer than the three woods that i've played in the past so that did surprise me a little bit in terms of performance wise what uh, gc2 was telling me but the numbers are what they are i was swinging on different days dry ball data collected on one day out there on the course on another day so arguably um yeah a different swing from the average golfer as you well know but like i said i can't be uh i can't pay this too many more compliments to be honest with you. it's a it's a really good club it's a very good performing three wood and for those of you that struggled to play uh three wood from the deck or it's a club that you'd like to have a closer look at in that sense then i would highly recommend it that's all i can say right more testing to be done with this one out there on the course in the weeks ahead i'm gonna have some closer looks in terms of head-to-heads uh, with a lot of other clubs moving forward but for the time being that is it on the m6 three wood thanks for watching comments down below and we shall crack on because i've got plenty more clubs and videos to come over this next two days it's an absolute mammoth few days let me tell you